original. Hi, I'm Pamela. I'm Becky. And I'm Erin. And we're Fredericksburg Moms. Tonight we're here with Karen and Randy from the Only Foundation, and we're going to talk a little bit about what they're doing in the community. This episode of Fredericksburg Moms is brought to you by Fredericksburg Parent and Family. Check out the calendar of Fred Parent for cool things to do every week. The Popcorn Bag Fredericksburg. Gourmet snacks, gifts, custom labeling, and packaging. Stop in and try some of the flavors of the Popcorn Bag today. And Circinius. Support to the Warfighter. Anytime. Anywhere. Karen, can you please tell us a little bit about the Only Foundation? Well, the Owenly Foundation is a, uh, is, a, is a non-profit organization in Fredericksburg, and we are here to help families with children that have neuroblastoma. That's a pediatric cancer, very hard to treat, um, very rare, although about 650 kids in the U.S. get it every year. Um, the families are struggling with um, medical bills, with co-payments, with... Um, sometimes with paying rent because they spend all their time with their children in treatment, things like that, um, money to get to a treatment center for, for gas money, for the car, things like that, train tickets. That's where we come in. We don't do anything for research. There's so many other organizations that do all that. Mm -hmm. We try to help the families directly and we focus primarily on families in the Fredericksburg, Virginia area. Not, not necessarily Fredericksburg only, but Virginia. Okay. That's what we look for. Okay. And how do you get your funds? How do you raise the money for that? Fundraisers, donations, mm -hmm. things like that. And we are completely volunteer run, so we don't have any overhead. If there's any overhead, like printing costs or whatever we, we need to do, it comes out of our pocket. Mm -hmm. We don't, and everything, all the money that we get in from donations goes directly back out to the families. Unfortunately, a large chunk of our money goes to funeral costs mm -hmm. because those are staggering and unfortunately that's where the need is. At that point, that's when we jump in. Um, can you guys give us a little backstory of how this whole wonderful foundation got started? Sure. Um, it goes all the way back to when we met Randy and Karen and Owen and Shannon when they moved in about three months after we did. It was a new neighborhood and the houses were just filling up and we really didn't know if there would be any children the same age as our children. Mm -hmm. We had a daughter who was getting ready to turn six and we had a son who was almost, well, four and a half at the time. And Randy and Karen moved in in July of 2003 and they had a six-year-old daughter and an almost two-year-old son, and that was Owen. Um, and so our children grew up together, and they were just the you know best of friends. They were great buddies. Um, Owen and, and Matthew became you know when it was a, you know available um, inseparable. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the two pivotal moments that I remember, you know, to this day are the day a couple of months after Owen's second birthday when. Randy came over and stood on my porch and told me that Owen had been diagnosed with cancer. And then the day that Randy came over and stood on my porch and told me that um, Owen was inoperable with his latest tumor. And that was in the, the June or, well, July time. It was July of 2009. Um, and at that point, I really started thinking about all of the things that we had done and gone through um, with them and not with them. I mean, I still, I've, I've not had a child that I've lost to cancer, so I don't know exactly how it feels, but I know how it feels to have your, your best friends lose a child to cancer and to have your, your son lose his best friend to cancer at a very, very young age. Um, and I knew that that couldn't be the end of it, but I didn't know exactly what to do. Um, I talked with Christy and, and we wondered if starting an organization in his honor would be the best thing and then uh, I kind of came up with the the Owen Lee Foundation but at that point it was how do we ask Owen's parents mm -hmm. if that's a good thing if they even wanted to do that because I never would have done it if it hadn't been for them it was really all up to them I remember you know asking them you know do you want to do this and I was scared to death and I think Karen answered first she was you know absolutely um, it was a way to 
not just keep Owen around for them because Owen will be around for them forever, but to keep Owen around for us and introduce Owen and his life and what it meant to everybody, to everybody else. And it was just strange because then I approached Wendy. I had thought of Wendy right away because she is, she is that person that wants to be involved and wants to be that giver. And I said, Wendy, I'm going to do this. And she had already talked to her neighbor, Deb, and said, okay, here's what we can do. So, um, we went all in from the, from the first day and, and, uh, the very first thing that we had to do was the worst thing you ever want to have to do. And that's to, to begin fundraising for an end of life event. I hated that. Um, you know, we, we grew up together with them in the organization or just as our kids, you know, had grown up with them. Um, the, you know, Matthew still talks about Owen, but not much cause he doesn't like to talk about his feelings. But when Owen passed away, um, Randy and Karen, kind of wanted to have Matthew involved but were afraid to ask because he was so young was but Matthew volunteered and he was a pallbearer for Owen's services um, and uh, I think that really touched a lot of people to see a 10 year old having to help his best friend you know at, at a last event and um, since then we've just kind of you know kept things going the important thing as you'll see on our website is Owen's story um, and uh, everything that we do is to that end, having went through everything across the street, literally, from them, that was how I knew that this wasn't going to be an organization to raise funds to for research. They had plenty of money for that. It wasn't going to be an organization to raise funds to build facilities or do anything like that. This was directly aimed at family. So the main way that the Owen Lee Foundation raises money is through fundraisers. Absolutely. So can you tell us the upcoming events you guys have planned? Yeah, we got a couple upcoming events. A um, couple different things. Number one is uh, probably closest to the road is our bingo. We have a bingo happening on March 15th at the Fredericksburg Country Club. You'll be able to buy tickets through our website through PayPal. Um, and also by contacting us individually, we'll have tickets there. Uh, following that, our next biggest fundraiser is going to be our annual 5K, 10K event that's run right here out of Stafford on Celebrate Virginia Parkway and in that area um, by the Giant. This will be our fifth annual uh, uh, 5K, 10K. And last year we had 300 plus runners. We're hoping to get, we we'll want to break that record this year. Um, we also do have a half K run for the little itty bitties. And so that's pretty much a good deal for that too. Um, after that, we have pretty much our our we've part we've been very fortunate. Um, when we first wanted to start up, have our 5K, I found out through uh, somebody that my husband worked with that there is this guy who, in his free time, runs triathlons and uh, 5K, 10K events. And what he does is he has a business and anything over profit, he donates. So I reached out to him because we need to understand how to run a run and run it that was sanctioned and ensuring it and all that other good stuff. And he's, again, powers it be, the man, I met with him at the Chick-fil-A out here and he said, well, you know, I'm not really happy with my current foundation. He goes, would you guys be willing to be my foundation? Oh, wow. So lo and behold, we have been tied up with brats, Bristol area try and swim since our onset. And what the other thing that we do is, and please do follow their website, we volunteer at all of their runs and their triathlons and anything, not all of his races, but the majority of his races we are a benefactor of. So everybody who participates, a portion of their money comes directly to us. And so anybody who's either willing to help us work those runs or anybody who's willing to participate in those, it all helps the Owen Lee Foundation. So that's pretty much what we've got going on. Although we're always looking for other ways to make money in fundraisers. We're small, but we have a big network and we've got a lot of volunteers. And you guys do have the upcoming events listed on your website. For Absolutely. Events. You go under our events uh, section on our website and you'll see everything that we've got coming up. Great. Yep. Thank you.